So today we're back in Krakow and today we're going to a museum Schindler's factory And it's about World War II and how they tried to save people Giving them jobs and having like fake papers so they don't have to go into camps And today is Monday so we have free entry Yeah, on Mondays you can get free entries but you have to book in advance Because there isn't enough places So in this first room that we've been to is where they actually had a place where they took photography and for people like it was like this room only which is really cool and now we're heading all the way to like the occupation of Krakow so let's get going take um, stamps from every now and then that has corresponding history so right here you have this date what happened here what the um, stamp would be for and then you actually take one of the cards and put it in and stamp it down occupation but because there's a lot of swastika I cannot show you that much but there's like guns and everything which to me seems so much bigger than I expect to not be disrespectful for the topic and the other visitors I didn't want to vlog too much I didn't want to be doing too much noise and because of this this part of the video is actually gonna be much more the way it is right now but I wanted to say a couple things before I let you watch this cinematic sequences here. I wanted to let you know that this museum is one of the better for World War II. And it shows the city of Krakow and Poland how it actually was affected by the World War II and how it was for the people. And a lot of things there are like a nice mix of authentic things from that time period and also things that are put in place so that you can actually feel or see how it would be for the people. And what this Schindler's factory did, basically it tried to save people by giving them jobs because that way if they were given a job they would not be sent to camps and Schindler would say that they're working for him. This is like a short version of it. But if you want to know more, I would strongly suggest you actually visit this museum. It's one of a kind. This pretty much just being a trailer for this place is not really showing what it truly is. Let's be honest, it's not too good for a camera because it's a little bit low light and at the same time I can't really show you everything because there's things like videos, photos, things that you have to see for yourself. You have to watch them, you have to actually interact with the things that are there. And there's a lot of things to read, see and watch. So there's too much to put in the video. And with that out of the way, you can still keep on watching and see what you can actually expect in the museum.
we just finished yep. our adventure in uh, Schindler's factory. And I have to say it was really good. I really like this museum. It's been my second time here. Your first. And how did you like it? It was really good. I think they really made it look nice. Everything looks really good. It was so interesting, even for young people, I think. And even though it is not as usual, where our videos are pretty much like happy, seeing cool places, seeing everything is so cool, you know, everything on a happy note today. But I'll sometimes it... you have to go to the and educate yourself. Yeah, so that we do not repeat the history that has happened before. But basically today a little bit darker. So that's gonna be it for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and we will see you next time. <laughs>